Happy Saturday, my ride and die supporters. How are you? I pray all is well with you all. As I was looking at some of the um bloggers that was reporting some of the things surrounding R. Kelly, one thing that really disturbs me is Azarel Clary. Right now, that young lady really needs to get some mental health treatment. I don't know what her father is going on social media and making attacks at R. Kelly supporters and all this talk about R. Kelly, R. Kelly, R. Kelly. Your daughter is home now, sir. And what you need to do is be trying to get her some serious mental health treatment. What she's doing right now is disturbing and it's scary. It's not funny anymore. And it's nothing to do with R. Kelly because when she was staying with R. Kelly, she was not acting that kind of way. She was seemed like she was at peace with herself. She was talking with some intelligence and she was together. Now she's just all over the place, all talking about eating poop and all that other stuff. Come on now. We all know that came from some parts from the Docu Lies, okay? That Docu Lies series. So it has nothing to do with R. Kelly. And anybody that's following that stuff gotta be just as stupid. Mister, get your child some mental health treatment immediately. Something ain't right at home. All this behavior is not coming from R. Kelly. It's coming from her home life. And that behavior was with her before she even got to R. Kelly. But when you brought her out of that environment, out of from un underneath R. Kelly, she, she just started acting crazy again. Something ain't right at home. She's crying out for help. That girl needs serious mental health treatment. She should not be on social media. It's not funny anymore. Where is her mother? That right there is a mystery. Where is Alice? Why isn't she making any stand for her daughter? Why isn't she saying anything? But it's always the father making his appearance on social media or coming with his attacks about um, R. Kelly supporters and saying stuff about R. Kelly. R. Kelly is locked up right now. He hasn't been bothering none of you, but y'all still coming for him. But your daughter out here talking about eating dog poop and eating poop, her own poop, and all this other crazy stuff she's keep talking about on social media. I don't go on her site, but it's just all over the, you know, that's been going around. And saying R. Kelly did this to her and R. Kelly did that to her, which is a lie. Because when I saw her on Gail King, that girl looked it so well. She looked it so happy and so at peace with herself. And each time she made an appearance when she was with R. Kelly, she looked well. It didn't look like no one was abusing her or mistreating her in no kind of way. She wasn't even acting crazy like that or even talking crazy like that. Now, all of a sudden, now all of these things supposedly that took place. I don't think so. I see the difference. And that problem is not coming from R. Kelly. That problem came from her home life and has always been her home life. And R. Kelly's been taking care of her and protecting her. I see the difference. And if nobody can't see that, something ain't right with your eyes. Or something just ain't right with you, period. Get your daughter some mental health treatment and stay off of social media. That is not cool and it's not funny anymore. Making up fake accounts that she want to kill herself. It's not a joke anymore, sir. Get your daughter some help. Supporters. You all take care because KC ain't going nowhere. 30 years I invested in my R. Kelly and I'm going to keep going steadfast and unmovable. Peace.